I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. The first is um, going to use a, a dot product, and the second is just going to use the regular triangle inequality. Okay, so the second way is probably faster than the first way, but I think they're still pretty pretty interesting. All right, so just a, a little identity to start us off. If you take a vector, say c, and you dot it with itself, it is the square of the length of c. Okay, uh, and it's not too difficult to prove that using the definition of the dot product and definition of, of the magnitude. So I'm actually going to use this to, to, to prove this. Okay, so let's call this, say, star. So this is the first part of the proof. To show star, we're going to basically square both sides. Okay? So if I square both sides, then it comes down to the following. Okay, so basically that absolute value sign can uh, be removed because we're taking the square of something. And I'm squaring a length on the right hand side. Okay, so how can we actually prove that? Well, this, you can connect this and this with C equals A minus B, okay? Okay, so let's take this over to the other side and we're going to show something is actually uh, positive. Oh, sorry, non-negative. All right, so this is actually what we're going to show. So we'll work on the left-hand side, and we'll show that hopefully it's non-negative. So let's call this double star. So the left-hand side of double star is just this. Now, this can be written as a dot product. It's the square of a length. Okay. Yes? And this is just the square of real numbers. So I can expand that in the usual way. Oops, squared. Uh, plus, thank you. Plus. All right. So now I know that I can distribute this dot product over here. So I can expand that in the usual way, keeping the dot product operation. So a dotted with a, that's the length of a squared. Uh, a dotted with negative b minus b dotted with a, that's just negative 2 a dotted with b. And then negative b dotted with negative b, well the negatives will, will cancel and you'll get this. So hopefully you can see now that we're going to get some cancellation. So that's going to cancel with that, that's going to cancel with that, and I'm left with this. Okay. Now, is this greater than or equal to zero? The answer is yes. Okay. <coughs> it's a special um, inequality based on something called the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Okay. Okay, that comes from Cauchy Schwartz, which says that this is true. Okay, so hence double star and star holds. So to, to, to prove that, you do need to use something. This Cauchy Schwartz inequality. Okay, now it's not necessarily the fastest way to prove that inequality, but it's one way using the dot product. Let me show you another way of proving this result. 
um, using the standard triangle inequality. Okay, so this is now part two. All right, well, the big picture here is to actually remove these absolute values and show that um, the two inequalities involved both hold. It's a little bit sort of tedious because you've got to show two inequalities hold, whereas up here we only had to show one. But um, the algebra is pretty simple. Okay, so we're going to use the following. We're going to use the triangle inequality. Let me just rem remind you of that. So if I've got vectors x and y, the length of their sum is less than the sum of the lengths. Less than or equal to the sum of the lengths. Okay, so if I cover up those absolute value signs, I'm going to prove the, the inequality that you see. Okay, now the other inequality associated with this is when this is on the other side and there's a negative sign associated with it, right? So if you have, say, I don't know, uh, w less than or equal to z, that's the same as saying w is less than or equal to z and greater than or equal to z. Yeah? Say for z uh, non-negative. So that's basically what we're going to do for this for this inequality. Okay. So let's start with plain order. It's a, it's a little bit of a trick. This I've got to say. You you add something and you take something away and you use the triangle inequality. Is this is this what you did? Yeah. Okay. So if I add, uh, sorry, if I take away a b and I add a b, and I sort of bracket them together. I can now apply the uh, triangle inequality with x equals a minus b and y equals b. So if I take this length of b to the other side, I've got exactly that inequality with those absolute values covered up. Pretty neat, huh? All right, well, that's one half of the inequality. What about the other half? Let's start with a B. What do you think we should do to the B? Maybe add an A and take away, away uh, an A away? Use a triangle inequality. If I take that to the other side, Then I'll get the following. Oops. Now this isn't quite what we need, because we want an A minus B, not a B minus A. But that's the same as A minus B. Okay. Why? Because if you're only looking at the length of a vector, it doesn't matter if you're looking at that vector or the negative of that vector. They've both got the same length. Okay, so if I, um, I can rearrange that, and I'll have the following, right? I'll have uh, negative a minus b is less than or equal to this. Okay, so if I combine this and this, I can get the following. And I can reconnect those back to the absolute value. And there you have it. So that's two proof. 